kids stories and more is here so let's all gather near art and cooking movement too reading science all for you jump and shout and cheer hooray kids stories and more is here today hi friends it's mimi here and the other day we read a book called the adventures of sparkles now this is a book of four short stories we read the first two so you definitely need to check out this book to follow the different characters and see where it leads for the next two stories it was written by maria volkova and her daughter now i thought this would be the perfect opportunity to use some of my furry friends and do a little math fun with math well, we're gonna introduce a couple new symbols and then we're gonna get on with the activity. I don't know if you can see here. I have the cave. Remember, we're using our imaginations. And I know not all these animals are, you know, um, native to the Arctic area, but, you know, we can pretend, can't we? We have the water. We have the rock that they hid behind. And of course, we have our iceberg. I used some styrofoam for that. For my rock, I used my BOSU from my exercise room. Now, if you come close, you will see on my chart here, I have three symbols. This one is called a plus sign. That's for addition. When you get a little older, you're gonna be doing addition in math class. And adding means we're putting something together, several things together to make more. Now this, this is the opposite. This is the minus symbol. This is for subtraction. Ooh, that's a big word, subtraction. This is where we take away, take out of, and end up with less than we started with. And here we go, this is called equals. And we, when we do a math problem, we might say one number plus another number equals and then we give the full amount same thing with subtraction one number minus or subtracting another number equals whatever we're left with so let's get started i'm going to go around my cave and my water and my rock and i'm going to see now oh i know you know this character from the story right here's our penguin now penguin is here on the iceberg and he's, she's here with two of her friends. Hey guys, wouldn't it be fun if we invited Unicorn over? Oh yeah, that would be great. Let's see if she'll come over. Well, where is Unicorn? Unicorn is over here in the cave. Let's see if Unicorn will come over bum, 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 and join them on the iceberg. So first we had one, two, three animals, but we're adding one more to the mix. Now, how many do we have? Let's count it. One, two, three, four. So if we were to do this on our chart, this is what it would look like we would put oops, three animals plus one more equals four. Let's try that again. Let's see. Oh, I have, let's count them. We're in the water now and we have several animals. Now some shouldn't be here, but that's okay. We're we have our narwhal and we have our clownfish, but we also have a bunny, a unicorn, and a bear. Let's count how many animals we have all together. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, ooh, five animals. Hey, we have plenty of room in the water here. Why don't we invite seal and polar bear over to play? Oh, that's a great idea. So we're starting with five and we're going to add 
add plus two more. Let's go over to our chart. Let's see. Now we started with five animals. We added, put more animals, we added two more. Well, does five plus two equal four? Hmm, I don't know about that. Let's count them up to see how many it will be. All right, let's count them. Let's see if it's still, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five plus two equals seven. Let's put that down. Five plus two more equals, oops, seven. Let's try the, uh, oops, let's try the other way. Instead of adding, let's use our other symbol. Let's see if you remember what it is. What is this one called? Who remembers? I heard it, minus or subtraction. This is the minus sign. Let's try. We are gonna stay where we were. We're in the water here and we have seven animals like we just said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> but bear and bunny and unicorn want to go to the cave. <gasps> ah, I'm done swimming. Me too. Let's go to the cave. <gasps> oh, it's so nice. Let's dry out in here. Well, we started out with seven and we took three away. Well, what does that leave us with? One, two, three, four. Let's go to our chart. You boys and girls are gonna become really great at math. So we had seven in the water. We took away three friends who decided to go into the cave. So we minus three and we ended up with how many? Let's see, if we have seven all together and we take away three, two, three, how many were we left with? That's right, four. Four friends are left in the water. Let's try one more subtraction. Well, we got a lot over here. Look at our cave. Oh my goodness. Well, let's count how many are actually in here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, ooh, seven, and eight. Oh my goodness, we have eight friends. Well, I think I'm gonna go to the iceberg. Me two. Me three. Me four. I wanna go two. All right, so let's see how many friends are gonna go. One, two, three, four, five. We started out with eight, so let's go to our chart. Eight, we started out with eight in the cave. Five left to go to the iceberg. How many will we be left with? Well, let's see. Look at my fingers. We have eight all together. We're gonna lose five of them. Oh, that's a whole hand. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, how many are we left with? Let's check and see if I'm right. One, two, 
two, oops, three. Three friends are still left in the cave. So eight minus five equals three. Well, we could keep going and going with all different scenarios of who goes to the rock, who goes to the iceberg, who goes to the water, and taking away, which is minus, or adding two, making more, which is plus. And you could do that all day, all different ways. And I hope you do, because the more you practice now, the easier it'll be later. So come join us again soon. Share, like, subscribe to Kids Stories and More, and we'll meet you where the animals live. Bye-bye. D-Nice says, do something nice. Mimi's message, put a smile on someone's face today. Friend shake. Ooh, boom, boom. Air high five, air high five. Spin, shake, see you soon.